Good morning, welcome to Sea Ray Saturday Morning Fitness. We're heading out to the water today. Good morning, I'm Amy from Amy's Beach Fitness. Today, working out on a Sea Ray SLX 400. So excited. If you don't have a tension band, it's okay. I did post a video last week on Sea Ray's site. And if you don't have one, don't think you can't do this workout. Greatest feature, my opinion, of this whole boat is this swim platform. Okay, here we go. Always stretch a little before any type of physical activity and jumping jacks. Core is engaged. Modify. I just want to show a modification right here. Ten more. Okay, wide leg, deep squat. It's very still today. I would suggest if it's real, real wavy to go up front. Start up front with the cardio warm up. 10 more. Five more. A little bit of kickboxing. Open up your sides. Open up your hips. Ten more. One. Four. And last one, jog in place, light on your feet, core is engaged for balance. Okay, left leg forward, right leg back, lunge. Now, if your balance is a little iffy you can always hold on to the side of the cushion here if not arms out find a focal point five more and there's five i'm going to turn around lunging one foot in front of the other remember you can always put a fingertip down for a comfort factor five more Now, because of this awesome swim platform, I have a lot of space that I can have my feet out, legs out, and do push-ups right here, right there on my sun, sun platform. Then in a second, I'm going to show you it opens up. It's really cool. You know, anywhere from 10 to 12, I'm going to do five more. Elbows are out. Okay, here we go. So here's the latch. I'm going to open it up. Now, the tension band with handles. This, this has, does have handles. I'm wrapping it around. I'm going to sit on the ledge here and do some chest flies. Elbows are bent. Chest is open. Back is flat. Core is engaged. If you want to add some leg work, you can be here and do some isolated leg lifts. Five more. And switch legs. You don't have to have your leg out. It's fine. It just adds more resistance, makes it tougher. Five more. Core is engaged. Now I can do shoulder presses, 
right here, just keeping that leg out. My foot is flexed. Let's do 10, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch legs if you want, 10 more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Tricep dip. You can do this with bent knees. Just make sure your arms are tight by your side, coming down for triceps. I'm gonna do eight of modification. That's three. This is modification. Four. There's eight straight legs. If you wanna make it harder, Core is engaged. There's eight. Slowly come up, give yourself a nice stretch if you need to. Now, core work. Whoopsie. Hold it here. Don't let the handles hit you in the head. And it's here. So I have resistance on the band, which is putting resistance in my core. When you do any type of core work, remember, engage in the core to support the back. Six more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, straddle legs. Pushing my spine into the cushion and it's here with the hips up. Stop midway. Eight of these, this is three. Great move. Works the obliques, core. Concentrate on your breath. Two more. Last one, beautiful. Now, I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put this, It's a lot of great little places to put the tension band, this cleat down here. Now here's where some balance moves come in. I'm gonna show you without balance what it's gonna look like. So you're just gonna have right foot forward, a little bit of a lunge, arm's gonna be out, and you're gonna do a tricep. Tricep kickback, but if you notice, my arm is really pretty tight. Both right on here, my arm is close to my body. Three more, one, two, three, switching sides, left foot forward. Same thing, keep that right arm close to your side for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. If you really want to work on your hips, really have wide legs, wide feet, as deep as you can go. Arms out, bicep curl in. Don't drop the arms right here. I'm going to do 10. That's three. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Oh, love it. Now, balance. Like I said, look at there's always something to grab onto. If you want to challenge yourself, stand on one leg. And even if your leg is lower, that's fine. But bicep curl. So you have balance. Now, my supporting leg, which is my right, has a nice bend to it. I have a focal point that I'm looking at, which is the cleat. Three more. If you have to hold on, it's fine. Two and three. Switch sides. I'm gonna angle my body a little bit. So you can angle and then you can take your right hand and just hold on to here if you need to. Six of these, one, two. Core is very tight. Three, four, 
five and six. Ooh. Now, take it off. We're gonna do some mountain climbers. This nice area back here. Get down. Let's do 30 mountain climbers. One. 10. Twenty. Thirty. Stand up slowly. Now, this is more of an advanced move. Just be careful that you don't fall back into the water. It's called a skater hop. So you're in a squat, coming back, balancing on one leg. Find a focal point. Don't overextend. Weight is in your heel. Weight is in my right heel. Now I'm going to show you a modification. Four more. One, core is tight. Two, three, four. Modification would just be side to side lunges. Make sure the weight is back in your right glute, in your right heel, just like this. You don't have to go crazy. Just like that. It's a great great burn and opens your hips now think of your kids being back here look at this beautiful dune so we are at a national it's a national park right in back of us beautiful dunes kids are out here playing mom dad people you have friends on your boat it's like okay I like to get a little workout you can just sit here and put your feet in the water you can lean back once again do a bicep curl my tummy is very engaged if you want to make it harder you can do something called the v-sit which is for balance just like here it's a pretty advanced move if you want to just be here you can do that right there core, middle core lower core and upper core is really feeling it remember don't forget you have the other side i would say do 10 to 12 of these so one if you want to have all this to hold on to it's a little wavy Bumpy, four, five, six. You can always do this, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Thought of a different, <clears throat> new move. Side plank, right hand down. Right here for shoulders. Check that out. Full body here. You can also lift a leg if you want to be more advanced. Let's do 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Modification. Dropping to a knee. Just make sure there's a towel there so you don't hurt your knee. Other side. I'm going to face you so you can see. <clears throat> Okay, actually, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to have my legs farther out this way. Side plank. So now I'm going back here. Two. Three. Actually coming out this way. Four. Oh, five. I'm going to do ten. Six. Improvise. Seven. Eight. Nine. And what I mean by improvise, obviously you have this cushion in the waist. So if you notice, I had my arm more out, but I got it in the shoulders. I got it in the obliques. You could always, always improvise. Okay, now I'm going to take you up in the front of the boat. <clears throat> All right, here we go. If you take time to get a drink of water. You can always stop the video. <clears throat> okay, look at all this great stuff. Love it. Wrapping my bands. I can get in a really nice, I'm going to have my palms facing deep squat. You can actually even push your bum on here and right here. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Core is engaged. Let's do 10. There's one, two, chest goes out. When the arms come back, three, pause on the back, four, five, six. Don't put it in the neck. And this is 10. 
Now, if you wanna put some resistance in your legs, you can do the same thing in a deep squat for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze those shoulder blades, eight, nine, 10. Okay, you can sit on this cushion, look out, chest flies right there. Make sure that you have a slight bend in both elbows. Posture, chest is open. All right, let's do 10 more. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Watch this. My toes are angled out and you come up. Now, what the body wants to do is go back. So that means you're gonna really have to squeeze your glutes on the up, squeeze your inner thighs and straight up. Don't let your, don't let your back arch 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this off. A couple more things I wanna do. You can put your foot inside the band. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the band right here. I'm gonna put my left foot in, make sure it's in enough that it's not gonna snap back on you. Okay, bicep, and you're here. Actually, I'm gonna squeeze out. I'm gonna really be on the side of the cushion here. Flat back, core is engaged for 10, one. You can do bicep. You could do shoulders back. There's a lot of different things you could do, you do this way so you get, a, get more of a hammer curl. Let's do, um, let's actually alternate. So you're doing a bicep curl, hammer curl, palms down, shoulder back. Three more rounds. Bicep curl, hammer curl, shoulders back, two more rounds. Bicep, hammer, shoulder, last round. Breathe through it, ooh, the legs. And here, okay, switch. Feet, like I said, make sure. And if it's not, if you can't get your foot through it because you've got your shoes on, just do it with no feet. Now maybe some socks or something. Okay, same thing. Bicep, hammer, shoulder. You can really work on your hip flexor. The more you bring your knee in, the better. Three more rounds, stay with it, breathe. Two more rounds. One more round, bicep, hammer, shoulders. Take your foot out. Now, quad stretch. You can do actually a balance move at the same time. So you're here. Find a focal point. I'm looking at that beautiful sandy dune right here. You can always hold. Same thing. Now remember, all of these things that I've shown you today will make you stronger on the water. You'll have more energy, you'll endurance. You can be out there for hours. The stronger the body, the stronger your sport. One more thing for hips. And actually you can use your resistance band if you want to. Might as well get your upper body and your lower body. So I'm putting resistance and I'm opening the hips, just like this, opening the hips. You got balance move, you got flexibility, you got range of motion. Right here, the higher you get the knee, you're gonna work the obliques, working my arms, my back. All right, let's do 10 of these. One, slow it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh my gosh. 
look at this beautiful lake and dune and boat. Wow. See Ray, thank you. See you next week for more of a video. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Be a surprise. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, safe day on the water. Bye-bye.